Well, hello Internet. Um, from last session, we did uh, build a communication site on SharePoint Online. Um, showed you how to add the web parts and different sections, how to edit. And uh, this was the end result. Not very good, but uh, very practical enough to be able to uh, practical enough to be able to learn from it. And that's what we're looking at. Today I'm going to show you, it's going to be a short session, I'm going to show you how to do permissions and this is very important. Uh, most uh, SharePoint online sites are internet based sites. Uh, internet means, you know, within the company, within the network of the company. And for that reason, uh, some access is very important. Uh, who can access what, when, you know, some, you don't want somebody accessing HR data. Uh, information that is personal you don't want somebody uh, accessing you know compensation structures for projects uh, and they're working in that project you know it's so all a lot of information has to have access also you know so very quickly that section there right there that's where you control your settings for site and you can see all these things listed here uh, site information is where you control the metadata of this site if you're trying to update it you click there now you can update the description and the name of this site but there's this part here where you can see view all the site settings and that's where you're gonna go to do your permissions now the very basic thing that you have to do in permissions is you have to have users first so you have to set the users and uh, in SharePoint you can do users in groups you know, so you can see members there, you have visitors and you have owners. Now, owners have total control of this site. You know, they can edit, they can delete stuff, they can update stuff. Basically, they own the site. Members have some edit power, but they don't own the site. For example, they can't just delete the whole site. They can also make substantial changes and you can give them permissions. But for the most part, these three groups, you know, they come with permissions. And the visitors are basically visitors. They can only see. You know, they only have uh, a see or view uh, powers only. They don't have write powers. So, and you can add additional uh, groups there, like everyone. But you can see here, you know, members grant contribute permissions to SharePoint, permissions to SharePoint site, uh, owners, it's full control. And then of course, visitors, uh, you know, they just get to read permissions, so contributors and reads. So, um, and you can give external users permissions too. So once you have these groups committed, so when you click on this, you can see very quickly that you can add members here. So you can add uh, name, an email address. You can do email addresses uh, separated by commas. And once you are able to do that, you know you can share automatically and when you share basically you're sending email to these people that you've added here saying hey you have been added as a member of this site so once you do that then you know depending on what type of membership you want to give them they should be able to access this site and that's where you control most of the permissions in a site all right again if you learned something and you you know want to show some love just uh, go ahead and do that so you know subscribe or uh, comment or just uh, tell us uh, what you'd like to learn and if it's something that we can share and teach hey we're game we're gonna do you justice thanks